Hey guys, out here playing in the shop today. And uh, I just got in 40 of these from Man Lake. I had some older ones that need to re wax them. And anyway, uh, I, re I put more wax on. They come waxed, but there's not enough wax on these things. So I take a roller, and you can see down through there. There's a little extra wax on them. Bees just jump right on that. Really nice. Um, here's a little roller I'm using. I set this, I set this crock pot up over here on my table. Works great. Here's a little roller I did use today. This thing works fantastic, guys. Got it at Lowe's. This thing worked fantastic. It's a little foam roller and it sucks up just enough to do both sides but uh what i'm doing here is i wanted to show you these fowler boards what i'm doing with them i had to fine tune them a little bit so i went to my favorite store today and got harbor freight and got this little tool this little warrior here this little warrior would you believe 18 bucks and then i picked up this little it's an 80 grit it's an 80 grit it's at four and a half inch 7 8 arbor 80 grit and it's got this uh sanding pad on it and what i had was just when i set up my saw here i had them just a, a little bit tight see it's a little tight in there so all i'm doing is setting this here and putting a clamp on it just a quick spring clamp here and use it as my work table but you can see what what I did to to assemble these. I did a toenail, 45 degrees, with a two-inch deck screw here. Two-inch deck screw on an angle. And what I did is set this this top bar, which I have a bunch more already made, in my vise. And I put I put this board in. I, actually, I put this board in first. My bottom board. I find out which pallet wood is fairly close on the joints, all right? Fairly flat joint. You can really fine tune if you want to go through the extra work at running it through the table saw and truing one ed edge up. But what I did is put this board in the vise straight up and I put I put this uh, I put three deck screws here right down through into this timber and I glued it. I glued it and then screwed it through here. So now I've got this substantial. Now I flip it over and put this top bar in the vise. Take it out, take it off this one, put this in, stand it up straight, and then I can stack these. This thing was originally out to here, but I have my saw fence set up at 10 inches. So I just stick this up against my saw fence, rip right down through. Be very careful. There are a lot of hidden nails in these pallets, hidden nails. But if you get a punch gun like this, you get a punch gun like this, order this thing, New Max. This thing's fantastic. That plunger comes out of that tube about that far. So if you've got a nail, look through here. If you've got a nail, go on the other side. Sometimes they're very hard to see. You'll just see a little metal tip. We stick that plunger up on and hit the trigger and it'll pop it out far enough to where you can get your claw hammer on and get them out of there. So all I do is set this, I run glue down, I take my uh, my uh, eighth bit, you can take a, yeah, eighth bit's fine, and go on a 45 and pre-drill it, stick a screw in there and zap it in. I got one on each end here. That's all I did. Now to fine tune it, I'm gonna use my uh, little brand new tool here. Let's use our brand new little tool right here to tune this baby up.
nothing to it all i had to do is just knock off a little sliver there see there's hardly any back and forth gap at all so now what i can do with these fowler boards see is i can drop one in over here drop two planes drop two plane frames right down in here and i can start a nook this way this is pretty much up the top here on these if you get like three quarter thickness this side here is not three quarter but i just you know this is a very cheap fowler board you guys can build for peanuts this one i just put two screws in but this one i put three in there probably should have put three in there but it's going to be fine because once that bond type glue grabs this wood it's not going anywhere and you don't need to paint these need to do anything with these but store them inside when you're done keep them get them out of the weather but in here in the hive the bees are going to do not what they're going to cover them with propolis what they're going to do they're going to shellac all these interior parts the walls of this hive everything with uh with propolis the only thing i do with these hives i dip them in tall earth but i do put a duct stain on the exterior see a little bit it's got on the inside but not much. So I just paint the outside with some deck paint, some cheap from Lowe's or regular or regular house paint, whatever. But I wanted to show you this quickie I'm doing here with these fowler boards. I've picked up three more pallets. These are going to get all broke down, and I'm going to. I'm getting quite fast at this. This little project here won't take long at all. I'll set up my. That's my little Mickey Mouse table saw I do all this work on. It's a homemade table saw. And when that, when I burn up that, finally burn up that, it took two years to burn up the last skill saw. This one's, this one's like brand new in here. When I burn that one up, I've got another $30 home, uh, Harbor Freight one I can throw in there. So pick up these cheap Harbor Freight tools. You can throw together a little mini ta uh, table saw like that this 10 inch i was telling you about this was just a random piece of plywood i had around the shop here guys there's my blade i stuck it over here that's my fence right there the, the saw guides guys must have been with me because i threw that i threw that piece of wood up there right and it's just a piece of pallet wood i threw on there and then I put my tape from the inside of this blade over there, and guess what it was? I was shooting for 10 inch. It was exactly, exactly 10 inches. So tell me the saw gods weren't with me on that deal. And then if you need other cuts, here's my fence. And I just throw a couple C-clamps on it. I've got marks laid out on here from different layout projects, but it's a quickie video today guys to show you what i'm doing in the shop i've got a bunch more we got a lot of queens coming off i'm going to start grafting two i think martin said he's got six eight ten queen cells that i can shove in the incubator he's got an overrun on them just guess where they're going guys they're coming right in here on a two framers what they're coming in on yes sir all right guys see you later be happy be strong we got to keep getting on, you know it. See ya.